Strands Agents SDK is one of a new generation of agentic frameworks. In this video, we're gonna get ourselves an introduction and see how we can get started. But before we do, let's just remind ourselves what agents are. An agent is just a piece of code and without an LLM, it can't do very much. So let's add in a large language model. This gives our agent the capability of being able to understand natural language. So it can start to do things. I guess this becomes a chatbot. So to give it agency and an ability to affect change in the outside world, we're going to connect it with some tools. So these tools can go and integrate with external systems and do all of those things like send emails, book flights, find out what the weather is and things like that. So when we make our requests in, well, we have now our agentic system. A really important part of the agent itself, though, is this loop here. This is the agentic loop. This is what really stands um, an agentic system aside from a simple workflow. Because when the agent is uh, sent a query, it can figure out which tools it wants to use and when. And then from the responses, it can actually iterate over that and see whether it's actually managed to get the answer it needs. Okay, so this is the basic overview of an agent. And the frameworks that we used to build agents we're usually crammed full of prompt templates. These templates were designed to help our large language model understand how to process the requests coming in, how to deal with tools, how to reason, and how to problem solve. So inside of these templates, we would have a um, few shot inference, as we call it, with basically just examples of how we want the agent to behave. Now, as large language models have gotten bigger and more capable, we haven't needed these templates quite so much. And that's because the large language model here is now fine-tuned with how to do reasoning. It's actually built to understand how to do tool use. And so there's much more capability in this large language model and therefore less need for all of that prompt template work, which means that our agent and the agent framework that we use can be much simpler. And this is where I introduce Strands Agents SDK, a lightweight way of building agents, which puts the model first. We rely on the model and its capability for all of the agentic flow. Now, joining me here in the studio today is Suman. And Suman, can you show us how to get started with Strands Agents? Absolutely. Thanks so much, Mike, for having me here. So before we get started, all we need to do is install Strands Python SDK. Okay. So let's do that. So it's pip install Strands Agent and Strands Agents tool. We are going to talk about tools a little later, but this is the only SDK that you need to install it's just one line of code i have already installed it so that's why it's a pretty fast already existed yeah. okay so okay we have the pip install done we've got the libraries here mm -hmm. i guess now we can start to cut some code sure let's do that so in this code what we are going to do is we are going to create a simple agent and the first thing that we need to do is we import agent from strands and then we will also in import a couple of built-in tools in this case, we are importing our calculator and current time. And creating an agent with strands is as simple as this. You just declare agent, you define the tools. It uses a default model, which is plot 3.7, and that's all. And now we can send our question or prompt uh, to the agent. Okay, what question are we asking here? This admittedly quite simple agent, but let's have a look. It's, it's a very simple question, but it's quite embarrassing. <laughs> it's about my age. Okay. I just want the model to predict my age. Okay. So let me go ahead and run that. So I'm looking at this here. I am born in and wherever you, whenever you were born. Um, tell me my age in days. So I guess this is going to rely on the agent to actually figure out which of those tools to use and when to use them. Absolutely. So I expect the agent to make use of calculator as well as the current time. Okay. Let's go ahead and see that. Let's have a look. And let's see if you feel this old inside. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so as you can see this, the first tool that it has picked up is the current time. Yeah. And then the second tool it has picked up is the calculator. Yeah. And it could actually figure out the current date. 
because we have that current uh, time as a tool. Gotcha. And that's how uh, we can get the response. So back to the top of this, just having a look at the beginning of where it started to um, make its output. I noticed that it actually started to do some planning. Could you scroll just up a tiny bit there? So it said, um, I'll calculate your day and ages to do this. And then it started to discuss its planning. So this is its reasoning steps. It's actually thinking and planning about what to do. But there's no system prompt in here, no. which is giving it lots of examples of how to do it. It's literally just knows how to do it because the model right. knows. So that's what uh, strand stands for. It's just the model and the tools. You know, nothing beyond that. It's we we want the model to take the reasoning part without any scaffolding. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So really simple uh, and quick and easy to get started. You mentioned the default model that it's using, large language model. Mm -hmm. um, what about if we want to specify our own model? Yeah, so Strand supports uh, different models. Uh, and if you go to the documentation, we can see that it has bedrock support, anthropic, light LLM. And once you have light LLM, you have the open gateway to use any model. Almost uh, anything. And exactly. Yeah. So we are going to use Olama, so which is also supported. So that means that you don't have to have, uh, you know, you, ha you don't have to access the model outside uh, your desktop. You can locally run a model and get started with Strang. Excellent. So, Let's have a look at that. Yeah. So let me go ahead and open this app. So in this app, it's exactly the same as before, but in this case, I'm just importing Olama model from Strangs, and now I'm defining which Olama model I want. So in this case, one of the prerequisites for this is you should have Olama installed, which okay. I already have, right? And in fact, I can quickly show you which are the models that I have. So there are a bunch of models that I have here, and I'm going to use Llama 3.2. Okay. And all you have to do here is define the model ID, mm -hmm. and Next, when you create the agent, you just mention the model ID. So if you remember the previous uh, example, we did not mention a model ID because it, it was we wanted the agent to use the default model. Yeah. But now we are just uh, mentioning the model ID yeah. and the question remains the same. Okay. <laughs> so now let's run this. So you probably would have had to do pip install Olama as well, just have the Olama libraries on there. That, and if you want to install Olama and you haven't, then I guess we can put a, a link in the description below with how to run local models. Absolutely. Okay, so this is running a little slower, and I guess that's to be expected. The reason is we are using a smaller model, and also it's uh, on, on the desktop. We can expect this model to behave a little differently with respect to a bigger model like uh, Cloud 3.7. Of course, yeah, of course. And and as uh, you rightly pointed out, if you see this here, it has used only the calculator, although it has the flexibility to use a current time. But since it's a smaller model, we expect that model to be not that great in the reasoning part. Not not as intelligent. No, that, that makes perfect sense. And the other thing to point out as well yeah. is that the, the models, in order to be able to work like this, the models need to support tool use. Yeah. Right. So yeah. some yeah. of the models from Olama don't. So if you experiment with some of the tiny, tiny ones, it might not get anywhere. But um, yeah, Llama 3.2 here. Yeah. Support tool that. use. Yes, that's Absolutely. a good point. I think we need to make sure that the model that we are going to use, it supports the tool calling. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Obviously, at some point, we're going to need to run cloud-hosted models. Absolutely. The big beast so that we can actually get some power. The initial example that you showed us used a model by default yep. was from the cloud. What if we want to specify our own cloud model? Yeah, absolutely. So we can, um, in fact, use, as well, we just mentioned here, we can use all these different models, and we can, in fact, use Entropic model directly uh, through the Entropic API key if you have. Yeah. But now what we are going to do is we are going to use Bedrock, but in this case, we are not going to use the default model, but we are going to use the Sonnet 3.5. Gotcha. And again, it's the same thing. You just change one line of code by defining the model ID of your choice and remaining things stays as it is. Do you still want to know how old you are? Is that what you're going to ask here? Or? I'm not that happy because it's a stronger model. <laughs> I might get the right answer. <laughs> but let's okay. go for it. Yes, so it probably will look a lot like the first example we gave, but here you've got the explicit definition in the code of which model you want to use. As you said, right. you can choose different models from different providers. Right. And if it wasn't enough to have this on screen three times, it is again up there so people can see exactly how old you are in days. <laughs> Excellent. So as you can see here, since it's a bigger model yeah. and it could able to reason well and we, we are seeing that it, it uses it to a calculator as well as the current time. And it rightly says that I'm quite old now. <laughs> yeah, okay. 
All right, Suman, thank you so much for helping us get started with Strands Agents. Um, we have more videos like this that we are recording today. So if you enjoyed this video, then please do remember to give it a like. It helps other people to be able to find these videos and more videos like this. Also, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell so that you get notified when our next video drops. Suman, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mike. For this introduction to Strands Agents, and we will see you very soon. Thank you.